Okay, it's a lot of energy. It's a lot of energy. <laughs> All right, um, we just played Thames. And talking about Thames, Thames speaks about being bullied for how our voice sounds. Nigerian singer and songwriter Thames recently opened up on her upbringing, unique sound, and personality. She revealed to the court that even though she grew up in Lagos with her brother Tunji and mother, she was a very reserved child who kept to herself. She told the magazine that she didn't start speaking until she was at least three but she had always loved to sing. She said, and I quote, I was always in my own little world. I wasn't very social, end quote. She also revealed that she had gone through various stage of evolution before becoming the version of herself that her fans have grown to know and love that is confident. Young Timmy Lade, she said, grew up feeling conscious of her talking voice because she did not sound like other girls who had softer tones, even when she sang. The court also reported that other kids bullied her to the point of tears. Thames added that she didn't speak much, didn't have much of a social circle, and her status as an outcast made her a target of ridicule. Sometimes she would cover her head with a blazer and she kept mostly to herself." End quote. Even outside of school, she oftentimes received unsolicited comments and advice from strangers regarding the pitch of her voice. This, however, contributed to the decline in her self-esteem, which led her to believe that she sounded like a boy or a frog, or that her voice was otherwise ugly. And I'm actually glad that now she has shared her voice with the world and see where the voice has taken her to. Mm. Like, I mean I mean, it's always, uh, this, this are the kind of stories in terms of artists mm -hmm. and people who, it, they don't, you see, it doesn't just come like that. It's work in progress. True. It's, like they say, the diamond is always under the dirt, you know, mm. under the rough. You have to, you have to dig in before you find that diamond. Mm. I mean, this also reminds me of the story of Ed Sheeran. I mean, you should see Ed Sheeran's throwbacks, like when he started out, when he was still learning how to play the piano, uh, play the uh, the guitar, Instrument, yeah. it was he, his voice was not as soothing as what we hear today. But I mean, look at Ed Sheeran; his world class is amazing out there. So it's always been a story. So I mean, this is a motivating story to everyone out there who is you know you have a vision of yourself, how you want to see yourself as a superstar. See, Rome was not built in a day. You have to oh. put in the work. Michael Jackson started since. Yeah. He was a child. Jackson you know? 5. Yeah, Jackson 5. He started, you know, early. So you just have to you just have to keep the work going and starting early. So yeah, amazing motivating story. Yeah, and sense. everyone has a story to tell. Mm -hmm. uh, what she said, what she said, uh, the, the session was otherwise ugly or she sounded like a frog or something. There have been artists around the world. Some have been popularly called or oh, people that sound like frogs. Mm. Some have been known for auto-tuning their voice. Or their sound and people say oh, it's because he doesn't have a good voice but at the end of the day a lot of them owned those sounds worked on their voice textures and now they're worldwide they're world class so well, it's not about did you want to like mention names you know because you know i mentioned names and you said frog so like i'm wondering and i also spoke about auto tune auto tune oh. yeah i mean i know auto tune i know that's like t-pain but t-pain you know, realize at the end of the day oh, yeah that's... we have a lot of artists like you that you know, is it we... the frog that well you... anyone anyone whichever glove fits your hand just put your hand um, what's, what's your handle but, again lady cap on but the... at the end of the day i'm just going to say that no matter what you're going through right now or what people say keep working on yourself and you're only going to end up a better version of yourself okay mm -hmm. and the same people crucifying you will celebrate you get it wisdom wisdom